What's going on Workforce? Brian here, and today we're talking about what job I'm leveling up next. The results are in, and as well as patch 4.1 and all kinds of fun little stuff. So let's just go ahead and do this thing. Well, the results are in, and I'm going to be leveling Red Mage for my next job. The healers are done. The tanks are done. Still working on the White Mage guide, and I, you know, there's a lot of little things that I need to do for the channel, so uh, I am working on it as best as I can. But um, with all that being said, I'm going to be working on Red Mage. Very excited about this. It was Red Mage versus Black Mage. Red Mage, the clear winner. So we'll do Red Mage first. That's the controller guide. Uh, we'll have to dive in because, like, from a from a damage perspective, there is so much more rotation. There's so much more about openers. There's a lot of details there. I want to make sure that I get right. Um, before I'd be able to put uh, together a 101 guide. So ideally we should be able to you know kind of be on target But there's still plenty of other things I want to do like the all tanks and the all healers kind of a 101 uh, And kind of an introduction to that as well as the differences the shared roles uh, 201 guides getting into more details with all of that. Anyway, there is also another poll now the link is in the description and this is to say what job is going to go up against black mage Right now, we have all the rest of the DPSs, and so your vote is hugely important. What will happen is here in a couple weeks, I'm going to go ahead and put another poll that basically takes the winner of the uh, you know this current poll and put them against Black Mage, and then that way you'd let me know Black Mage or Dragoon, or Black Mage versus Machinist, or Black Mage versus Monk, whatever ends up being, we'll do that vote, and then that will be the next DPS that falls in line as to how this whole system works. So. Thank you guys so much for your feedback and your time and your opinion on this matter. It's actually kind of really exciting. Outside of the tanks and healers, you know, this is actually, I think, a lot more fun being able to have a little bit more engagement with you guys. And then you've all been hanging out with me on stream while I'm leveling, which really kind of makes leveling less grindy, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and dive into some of the new stuff about patch 4.1. So first up, the new promotional website has been updated to include a lot of new options. You can kind of see up here, they've got the Minstrel Ballad, Beast Trap Quest, additional updates, side story quest, you know, the new PvP mode. They don't yet have any posting for the End Ending Coil and Adventure Squadron, so I'm really interested in where that's going to go from there. But jumping down to the Minstrel's Ballad, Shinru's Domain, this is going to be the extreme version of this fight. Um, a very, I guess, kind of, you know... A uh, line in the sand. <laughs> we talked about this, uh, you know, kind of in an opinion piece regarding the difficulty, and you know, it is, it, you know, it does jump up, and it, but it also then feels like what a final boss should feel like. It was definitely uh, something we had to work towards. Gear in and of itself kind of solves the problem, and I believe there haven't been too many issues with it. But uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to see what they do with Shinru Extreme. And that's what, you know, we're going to get with 4.1, which is really only a couple weeks away. Most likely uh, October the 10th, we will get a date uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the next live letter, and that's going to be uh, there. Then we have the new PvP mode, Rival Wings. This is kind of where you can also have mechs that are fighting each other. But you can kind of see the map here, and it's also, you know, it, A, it's awesome. Very Dravanian, very Charlan in its design. You can kind of see here now it is saying patch 4.15 which we were saying this was originally in target for 4.05 then it was pushed back and now it looks like it's going to be 4.15 which is a little bit disappointing um i think you know i'm wondering if it's more that that content is pushed further back so that it's not you know being and having to compete with all the other stuff that we're getting you know what <laughs> one way or another but it looks like you, you have a couple different zones uh, that you have to control uh, and it looks like you have that middle kind of area um, I'm really really excited about this the one thing that is a little bit you know disappointing if I was gonna you know, say so just based off of this is that if it's only one map I think uh, that's going to be something that <laughs> after uh, no matter what it's going to kind of burn you out of that mode and that's where we hope to see front lines and some of these uh, other systems uh, introduce new maps while keeping the same kind of rule set or being able to do a kind of rotating rule set from that matter but uh, new is good uh, it's just going to be a problem after a thousand and a thousand times going through it hildebrand's making his way back this is for anybody who is interested in uh, these side story quests uh, i loved him in arr and i could not get to him um i guess that's not the right way to say it 
I just did not get into them within Heaven's Word. And that's largely because I think they kind of just added that in pretty quickly. And, you know, based off of conversations and interviews, that kind of ended up, you know, it, it leads to that being the best possible explanation where they were going to retire him. And then the fans wanted him back. And so they brought him back. And being that there weren't any trials, being that there really wasn't anything outside of the story itself, um, I wasn't 100% motivated to do it. So, you know, anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. If this is something where, you know, we could see the kind of return from the 2.0, uh, where we can see some trials, or maybe we could do another version of Gilgamesh, maybe we could do all of these fun little things, um, that would be exciting. I, I would love to see that. Uh, you can really lean into the humor in the Final Fantasy universe with Hildebrand and all that. So, anyway, that's just my thoughts. Um, Kojin, Beastman Tribe, this is going to be great. Uh, red versus Blue... Uh, it looks like the Kojin are going to be working to build their own vault. The Red Kojin have taken over the vault. And from a lore perspective, if you guys aren't aware, uh, Kojin collect a lot of treasures because they believe they have uh, these divine beings or divinity kind of uh, tied into them. And that is kind of one of their kind of belief systems. And so um, with the Kojin no longer ser serving the Garlean Empire, they've kind of gone rogue, locked down the vault, which was apparently shared. I didn't catch that earlier, but... At least from my interpretation of reading this, that was the case. And so the green Kojin, the peaceful ones, the ones that helped us out and taught us to swim, uh, you know, want to build their own vault. So that's going to be probably what the objective is as we run that. Uh, Beastman tribes are great for leveling. This is going to be perfect, as like I stated at the beginning of this video, for as we work on uh, the Red Mage and my DPS is going to have to definitely leverage those benefits as well. Uh, custom deliveries is a part of an ad additional update. Looks like they're trying to raise um, money in this case for the Orphans Fund, and that's all in game. So um, I, you know, I've never really been big into that, but it is a really cool system to see to see them continually expand upon it. And you know, that's that's what it is. So that's kind of the updates we're seeing. If you guys aren't aware, there is a live letter tomorrow. We're going to be covering it. Um, and then the, thankfully I think there'll be a live translation usually provided like through Mr. Happy and Marco and, and the various people who can speak and read Japanese. So uh, anyway, we'll be we'll talking about it um, here on the channel. I'm sure uh, we're going to be very excited. <laughs> but that is um, pretty much it for this video. I'd love to know what you're most excited about for patch 4.1. Personally, I think it's the 24-man raid with uh, Return to Ivalice. But don't let me influence your answer. Let me know in the comments below and let's have that conversation. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video and I'm going to wish you guys the best. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey Chris, your shirt's pretty looking. Uh, pretty looking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, it doesn't have work to game anywhere on it, but I like to support the channel. Oh, yeah. So, well, you know, uh, you can do that and also have a good looking shirt. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want that shirt. You think maybe it could be a different shirt? <laughs> Well, cool. I think I'm going to click on one of the links somewhere around here, and I'm going to go see what we got. <laughs> it's really, really, really good. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Take care. You probably have a pretty shirt on.